morning, Mr. Disney. I told you last year. Call me Walt. Hi, this is Molly, and this is my voicemail. You know what to do. Hey, happy birthday, honey. Okay, so I know it's not your birthday yet, but it is officially the beginning of the birthday weekend. That counts for something, right? I just wanted to call to make sure and double check about Saturday. And I'll pick you up from mom's at six if, if that's okay. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Pete, to what way of pleasure? Hi, Denise. You know what, actually, it's, it's, it's actually Peter. Yeah, I've asked him to change it a couple times, but they, never mind. Uh, I'm looking for a doll. Aren't we all, honey? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 you see, it's, it's one that we used to sell a few years ago. You see, it's my daughter's birthday, and she had one when she was a little girl, and she lost it, and I thought that would... Which character? Oh, Mickey. Oh, that now is it down. Oh. Really? No. Which Mickey? Like the old one? We have Steamboat Mickey. We have Pie-Eyed Mickey. We have 1890s Mickey with Straw Hat. We have Sorcerer Mickey. We have the 1939 redesign and the 1955 redesign. We have Mickey Mouse Club Mickey, who's wearing his Mickey Mouse Club badge with his picture on it, which never made any sense to me. We have recreations of the dolls that we sold in the 30s that don't even look like the character did back then. We have had Mickey dressed as a cowboy, a pirate, a sailor, a longshoreman, a mailman, a postman, a fireman, an airline pilot, a farmer, and as a limited edition collectible, Mickey dressed as Michael Eisner. There was a short period a while ago where we ran out of Minnie Mouse, so we had to cross-dress Mickey. I've got one of those at home, but they're very rare. Wow. Uh, it was one of the older designs with, uh, with, the, with his big eyes and, and the slice. Oh, pie-eyed. Yeah, I think so. Iworks or post Iworks era? Um. How long ago did you buy it, Pete? About eight years ago, maybe. Oh, perfect. I'll just put eight, maybe, into the computer. You can do that. No, that's not how computers work. How tall? Uh, nine inches, maybe? No, de nine inches, definitely. Nine, nine inches. Black and white? Color. The red shorts, uh, <laughs> yellow buttons, yeah. Okay. Um, that would have been model A1123 or model A1128. I'm sure it would help if you knew the thread count on his pants. The uh, we have a box of spares down in storage, and I will draw you a map. And you can oh, go. Denise, that, that says that we're sold out. Who are you going to believe, me or the computer? I 
said I'll draw you a map. transhuman movement. Well, how long did they give him? Well, the doctors in 1966 gave him four months. With modern medicine, who knows? Could be years. Miracles from molecules, right? I'm sorry, what? Seriously, where'd you get this one? The ride closed when he was 10, James. Not an excuse. If we get him back on ice in 72 hours... Now, James, hours, a little respect. Sorry. Three days or he can't be refrozen, and the clock starts ticking. Is there anything else I should know? Yes, uh, try not to stare. Hello? Anybody down here? Get the crap out of me. What are you doing down oh, here? I'm sorry, but you say What something? are you doing down here? I don't know, finishing up the uh, wire security panel down here. But what are you doing here? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a doll for my daughter. Well, what is she now, 15, 16? Yeah, well, she's almost 16. Anyway, uh, she had this doll when she was, when she was a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a sentimental value, and, and I'm just trying to... Ooh, what are you doing down here, though? Well, Denise sent me down Denise here. Who? You know her? She's the... Uh, from the uh, stock room on Main Street. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, sure. yeah. What about her? Well, she drew me this map. She said, come on down and, and well... No, 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 no. Let me see. Let me see. Where am I? Ha! You're under Tomorrowland. If you zoom closely, you hear snoring of the carousel of progress. <laughs> Bit of humor there. Anyway, you're on the second floor. There's another floor? Yeah. yeah, most employees only get to the first level, but there's actually three. And according to this map, that's where you're heading. Great. Uh, so, well, where do I go? Well, they pretty well walled it off. There's only one way that I know of, and that's that way. You wouldn't be interested in... Going with me, would you? Uh, no way, amigo. It's a scary as hell down there. Tell you what, show you where the elevators are. Come on. You sure? Yeah, here we see. o'clock, Walt. Morning, boys. Morning, Barbara. You're not Barbara. No, sir. Timothy Hoyer, VP of New Interactive. Uh, Barbara went to Paramount, actually, last November. That's a shame. Uh, Walt, I got some issues from the second quarter that I specifically wanted you to take a look at. The VOD platform. How's my part, James? Attendance has been increasing pretty steady, but gas prices are on the rise. Uh, I'm sorry, Walt. Uh, this is pretty important. Could we take things in order? First things first. Go on. Uh, page 45. Did you remember what we talked about last year? Walt, I ran that by the board, and uh, they don't think it's such a good idea. I'm the head of this company. <laughs> I was going to save this until the end of the meeting, but... Uh... What's this? Why, it's your park, Walt. You can see everything. 
Security cameras? Not just security cameras. It uses multiple cameras to generate a three-dimensional... It's the new guest monitoring system. You should see the metrics on this thing. Why, we designed it with you in mind, Walt, and I promise it's just as good as being up there. No, it's not. I want to leave this room. I want to go up and see my park. Is that a problem? I thought you put a battery in this thing. We did, but that's just for power failures, not... This is a billion-dollar system, Walt. I hope you got a receipt. I built all of Disneyland for 17 million. Can you imagine what I could have done with a billion? Get cut. We're not taking you upstairs, Walt. I don't know why the board promoted you. No vision, no backbone. You must have been the guy who wrote Stick to Shorts. I don't know who wrote that, Walt. Because in 1937, I wasn't even born. Walt, sometimes you can't get everything you wish for. We'll see about that. I think it's time we uh, took a break. Boys? Boys? At least leave me somewhere to turn the pages. Hey, I thought you were leaving for that uh, hotel consulting job with Dave and Carlos. No. No, the whole thing seemed just a little too risky for me. Sticking with the mouse ears, huh? Yeah, yeah. Safe move. Listen, where the castle stands, there'll always be a good shot. Well, here we are. Jesus, must be where they got the idea for Tower of Terror, huh? Well, this is the only way down to a third floor that I know of. So? Yeah. Safe, right? Totally. Please stand clear. Uh, you sure you don't want to go? I got things to take care of. Besides, I really don't want to go. Right. This is why you don't let the artistic type run a company. You just can't deal with him sometimes. Now let's give him a few minutes to come here. Give him a chance to be reasonable. I just put Walt Disney in timeout. You think that's going to make him more reasonable? So how does he? Can he? Can he? I don't understand. We'll explain it to you later. Every time. Thank God you heard me. I'm Walt Disney. Wow. An audio animatronic wall. So that's what they've been doing down here. What? Look at that. Thought the Johnny Depp one was good. And I... It's so real. Take your finger off my nose. No. No, I can't. It, that's impossible. You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bill? What are you looking for? <laughs> Bill, come on out. 
Was it an easel nail on this too? You guys had me going there for a minute. Let's send, let's send Peter down. Give him a little fright, huh? <laughs> Peter, it's really me. Guys? Holy crap. I'm sorry, Mr. Disney. I, I, I didn't see anything. I didn't, I didn't come. Uh, I, I, I didn't need to come through that. I mean, why would I come down here? I'm going to go back to work now, sir. I'm going to go back to work because that's what I do. I work very hard for this company, and I love Disney, and I've worked here a long time, and I'm going to go back up, and, and, and I'm not going to... I'm not gonna say a word, nothing. Stop blathering. Peter, I need you to help me with something. Bob? Peter, I need you to do something for me. Uh. Uh, you need me to do something for you. <laughs> what? I need you to take me upstairs. What, like, to the second floor? No, I want to see my park. Oh! <laughs> you want to see the park? Well, why didn't you say so? Um, that might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I mean, don't you have others? that you're a little more qualified than myself. I don't know, Imagineers, magicians, doctors, scientists, any of the above. What do you do here? Well, I work at Box Office Gifts with the Camera Center on Main Street. Camera Center? Well, it used to be a camera center, and now we just, now we sell magic bands. What do you want to do? I'd love to manage the Emporium. Well, don't you dream big. I don't think you understand what I'm offering here. You take me upstairs, show me my part, and you get whatever you want. Whatever I can give you. How? You're ahead. Of the curve of innovation. Thank you. If you give me one day in the Magic Kingdom, you'll be running every gift shop, pop stand, and souvenir cart in all of Disney World. What? Well, one day? You do that? How do you think Pressler got the job? I don't, I don't, uh, I can't. What do you mean? Well, sir, there is someone who wants you to stay down here and I'm guessing that that someone is my boss's 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 boss and I'm assuming, just throwing it out there, going with my gut instinct, just assuming that um, this someone wouldn't be too happy about me kidnapping Walt Disney. You're not kidnapping me. Okay, well then, stealing your disembodied head, whatever you want to call it. Either way, you know what? I, I, I don't remember them telling me anything about this when I went through t traditions, but I'm pretty sure that they would frown upon this sort of thing and that I would be terminated immediately. That wouldn't happen. That's not gonna happen. I still run things around here, you know? Uh, at least I used to. I used to know and approve everything that went on around here. Now, I don't even know the color of that hat shop. You, you don't know what goes on up there and that's why you want me to take you up there. Peter, listen to me. I can still follow through on a promise, you know. With all due respect, sir. I can't. I mean, what you're asking me to do, it's, it, it, it's a huge risk and I have a daughter who relies on me. And I'm not willing to give that up. I'm sorry, Mr. Disney. Peter. Yeah? You can still call me Walt. Thanks, Walt. Now get out of here before they get back. Before who gets back? Back there, to the left. Thanks. I'm sorry, did you want something? Now, Walt, I'm sure we both said some things we're not very proud of earlier. Now, could we just move on with this? All right, new BOD platform, page one.
Do you work here? It's me. Peter. I was just up here. No, I mean, do you do actual work? As in your job? You didn't even find the boxes and I drew you a map. Well, I ran into somebody down there I wasn't expecting. You're not supposed to have your phone on company time. It's my daughter. Oh, well, if it's your daughter, then fine. That was sarcasm. Some people will have trouble picking it up. Oh, is that what that is? Let me make the next sentence extra clear. Please get out of my storeroom. Hey, you can't go out into 1917 small town America with a cell phone. Bad show, Peter, bad show. I mean, the Starbucks across the street is bad enough as it is, but that crosses the line. Now I'm a tourist. Passing period. I have three minutes. And besides, I'm not 16 for two more days. It's close enough. Tell that to the DMV. Two minutes, Dad. So I just got your message, and suddenly you can't do Saturday? I finally got reservations to be our guest. I think I'm a little old for Disney restaurants. Well, you didn't scoff at Victoria and Albert's when your mom and I took you to the Grand Floridian last year. That's different. Besides, Jen and I are going to the movies. Don't worry, Mom's paying. Well, that's not the issue. You can go to the movies with Jan anytime. But it's the opening of Insurgents. Well, movies open on Friday. Why can't you go then? You know, technically movies open Thursday at midnight. Uh, no, you've got school in the morning. Then can I skip school and go to a matinee on Friday? No. So you see my dilemma. Jan can't go Friday night. No, ma'am. Just schizophrenic. Look, I know weekends are like divorce dad penance or whatever, but really, Dad, you can do something on Sunday. Separated, Molly. Same difference. But what about. How about tonight? Seriously? Well, I'm sorry about Sweet 16 tonight. Oh, and she told me to remind you about the ice. Yeah, um, I'll be there. It's nice to know that even though my parents can't share a meal with each other, they can still get together to socially humiliate their daughter. Come on, Molly. It's only family. Even better. That's the final bell. I've got to go. I love you, all right? Bye. Sorry. Um, do you work here? Yes. I'm sorry. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, we're looking for... Uh, what was it again, sweetie? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Some sort of princess makeover? Well, yes, the uh, Bibbidi bobbidi boutique. Well, it's it's in the uh, castle. Just go right down the middle and it'll be on your left. Okay, and uh, you know it's sort of a, uh, how much? Uh, well, I can't give you an accurate number just off the top of my head, but I, just, I believe the packages start around $70. Right. Whatever makes her happy, right? What makes me happy, Daddy? Uh, never mind. Come on, Marceline. Let's go to the castle. Oh, look who's back. Where are you going? You tell it, Doris. What are you looking for down there? Mickey Mouse. sales have leveled off for now. Now, Tim, do you want to go over the sales projections for our retail outlets? Page 36 in your third binder. It's a quarter to seven. You think I could take off for the night? I wouldn't normally, but my granddaughter's got a thing. If it's all right with you, Walt. You've got something more important than this meeting? Yeah. He has a family. My, my head's spinning with all these numbers anyway. And don't I have some roughs to view? All right, bright and early tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow, Walt. What am I watching first? This is a rough cut of the good dinosaur. 
Disney or Pixar? Pixar. Oh, boy. Do you speak San Franciscan, Tim? Because I don't. Otherwise, th they take my notes, right? I think I'm going to head out, too, if that's all right. Uh, lights on or off? Uh, leave them on. A doctor will be back soon. It's nice to meet you all. Night, Tim. Thought they'd never leave. Uh, Peter, you almost gave me a heart attack. A what attack? A heart attack. You know what I mean. You came back. Executive. Six figure salary. Yours. And not like low six figures either. I'm talking like mid six figures. Fine. Okay. How do you get this thing off? There's a hitch in the back. If you push it in. Okay. Great. I'm tilting. Oh! This does not inspire confidence. So what are we going to see first? Oh, take me up through the Fantasyland elevator. No, I thought I'd give you a scenic tour of the employee parking lot. The park closed 10 minutes ago. What? What kind of employee are you? You can't even kidnap your boss right. I could take you back. I could take you back. Uh, you could watch the Pixar movie. No, let's get a move on. All right, the park opens at 9 tomorrow. We'll be there for the rope drop. Touring plan says crowds are at a 6, so it'll be pretty easy for us to just blend in. I used to wear dark glasses and a hat to walk around Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think that's going to cut it. Checking the forecast. It's partly cloudy. Oh, wait, is this the Internet? Yeah, I've heard about this. You use go.com, right? Oh, crap. Uh, you gotta hide. Who's that? It's my parents. You let your parents move in? Not exactly. It's sort of the other way around. When I was your age, I bought my folks a house. Well, I have a house. I, I just don't live in it right now. Carol and I just need a little time to figure out what she wants. Okay. We're coming in. So, the party's going... Walt Disney is in our house! Mr. Disney, it is an honor... Please, call me Walt. Call him Walt? <laughs> Peter, you didn't tell us your boss was coming. You don't find anything... odd... about this situation? Oh, it isn't every day an American icon crosses the corner threshold. Mr. Disney... I remember when I saw the re-release of Fantasia at uh, the Paramount Theater in Anderson, Indiana in uh, 1956 with Cinemascope and everything. Oh, I don't have to tell you, Mr. Disney, that was really something. <laughs> thank you. Uh... Uh oh, Larry. Larry. Thank you, Larry. We're very proud of it. Uh, Peter, were you planning on bringing Mr. Disney to the party? Party? Yes, our granddaughter Molly, she's turning 16 this week, and it's going to be a little shindig at her mom's. I'm sure he's more than welcome. You know what? I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I, I think Walt's just going to stay here. Nonsense. I'd love to come. I don't get out much lately. Wonderful. We'll be leaving in about 10 minutes. I ironed a shirt for you, Peter. Okay. Thanks, Mom. All right, I'll be out. In a minute. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. All right, come on. There, there, there. Thank you. I love you. Seriously? Come on, give me a break. I haven't been to a party in 50 years. All right. All right. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Peter, I have a question about Mr. Disney. What is it, Mom? Well, it's a little delicate. That's okay. Um, how does he still draw Mickey Mouse? Really, Mom? Uh, uh, Mickey, Mr. Disney's a very important man. He has people do that for him. So, he, he doesn't draw Mickey? Not even the important parts? 
Not since 1928, Ma. I thought you said this was a costume party. It is. You're in your costume, aren't you? Party costume. That's not what you meant, and you know it. Where's your present? Well, I was going to give it to her on Saturday. My real birthday. You haven't bought it yet, have you? One more word out of you. I'm going to wait in the car. Peter, where have you been? I'm oh, sorry. I'm really glad you're finally here. Um, where's the ice? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot it's the boss, he kept me late. Don't worry about it, Peter. I'm sure nobody's gonna mind warm beer. Why don't you just uh, sit this on the table over here? Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. Just put it over there, Peter. Whoa, whoa. Don't you dare. Well, what was I supposed to say to her? Well, you stay here. Keep quiet. As soon as you're done talking to your present, your daughter has a few things she would like to say. I swear, Peter, if that's a puppy... Excuse me. Hi, sweet pea. Hey. Happy birthday. Dad, don't. Come on. You're not going to be my little girl forever. I'm not your little girl now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad you came. Everyone? Everyone, if I could have your attention, please. Molly had a few things that she wanted to say to everybody. Um, hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, I just have an announcement, I guess. You might remember that on the invitation, it said that cash gifts were especially appreciated this year. I didn't get an invitation. And well, there's a reason for that that my mom didn't tell you. I just found out that I got accepted into a student exchange program this summer. I'm going to be spending the summer in Prague. <laughs> Prague, Georgia. No, Peter, like Prague. <laughs> you know, the one in, um, Rado no, <laughs> Europe. <laughs> when were you gonna tell me about this? Look, I, I tried. She's 15? Uh, She's 15, and you're gonna send her off to Europe. Peter, it's a school trip. <laughs> it's barely a month. Look, this really isn't the place. No. What? I say no. Well, Dad! You're 16. Yeah, I don't so? want my 16-year-old daughter traipsing around Europe for the summer. But this is not the time. No! It's not. We should have had this conversation much earlier, Carolyn, but we didn't. Do you think that just because I moved out that you can cut, cut me out of her life? No. Well, you can't. You can't. I'm sorry, everyone, please, get back to the party. This is a family issue we're going to talk about later. I can't believe you, Dad. Mom said you'd be cool. Molly. That's not a real train. Where's the caboose? A train doesn't need a caboose, it just needs an engine. Haven't you ever seen a train like in the movies? Of course it needs a caboose. Nah, -uh. there's a train that goes by my school at recess every day and it only has four cars and they have coal or something in them. What does a caboose even do? I don't know, but you gotta have one. <laughs> A caboose holds the rail crew that does the track switching. Modern railroads have computerized systems, so they don't need one. What was that? It's the present. Hey, ask her a question like history or something. Present? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson.
Um, Mom said to bring you this, so... This one specifically? That's cold. The beer? No, the beer is room temperature. I'm talking about your mother. Dad. <laughs> okay, bad joke, I'm sorry. But it's true. She just can't let anything go, can she? She says the same thing about you. I should have told you. He should have asked me. I know. Okay. So tell me about it. Quiet, quiet. Calm down one at a time. I think it's a trick. Then ask him something. How old Disney was? Well, it opened in 1971. But construction. What's my baby brother's name? Listen, I mostly answer questions about trains. That's kind of lame. Trains are lame. Shut up, you punk kid. You broke it! I didn't do it! Scared you! Scared you! The class we take at the university can help for college credit. So I'd be going in with- Wait, I'm sorry. What's that? What's what? Oh crap. Uh, look, I gotta go. Tell your mother that we'll talk later. Dad, where are you going? What did you do? Um, I, what's happening? What's wrong? I don't know. Can you fix it? Yeah, I, I don't know. No? But I think I know somebody who can. Oh boy. What? You guys are running out of juice faster than you knew. Yeah, look at these readings. We really appreciate this, Bill. Well, I appreciate you spending some face time with the boss. Hey, uh, hey, Walt, let me ask you. How come they didn't build a body to go with this uh, contraption of yours? Did you ever see the Lincoln robot break down? No, I can say that I have. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. <laughs> All right, here, let's try this. And that ought to do it. Here, here, here. It's, uh, there you go. I'm fixed. Well, you went really broken. Your battery was dying. Uh, well, are you familiar with a defrosting timer at all? Oh, don't worry about that. The boys in the lab tried to explain it to me. They have to refreeze me every 72 hours or they can't do it. Something about frost cycles and water vapor and things. Well, the numbers add up and uh, I built you a charging unit. <coughs> go with that. There you go. Wow. Here you are, sir. Well, you got more than enough juice to get you home. Charge it overnight. And one more thing, you need to unplug your dryer because this only runs in a 220. Check. You good? Thanks again, Phil. You're welcome. Good luck, Walt. Thanks, Peter. I feel better already. You are welcome. Peter, I, I don't mean to pry, but... Uh... Is everything all right with your daughter? You heard. I think everybody heard. My little girl is growing up. And it's hard. Can I do anything? I'm not sure. I don't think so, not anymore anyway. When Diane was about six, she came to me and asked if I was Walt Disney. I said, Yes, I am. Then she asked if I was the Walt Disney. I said, you know I am. I don't understand. Peter, anything. you're not letting me get to the punchline. Sorry. So then she asked for my autograph. That's the punchline. That's a true story. Good night, Walt. Oh.
I almost forgot. I taped this off the TV a long time ago for Molly. I mean, it's not the rough cut of the new Pixar, but... Oh, Peter. This is much better. Good night, Walt. Coming up next, the 1967 live-action musical, The Happiest Millionaire. Father? Molly. What are you doing here? Is everything all right? I know who you brought to the party, Father. What? Don't play games. Grandma and Grandpa told me enough. I put together the pieces. It would be such a shame if someone were to accidentally mention that you happened to steal the head of Okay, the okay, okay. Okay, you've made your point. What do you want? Can I come? I want to go to Disney World with you. No. No! No, no, no! But, but Dad! No! 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 And, and besides, that's where I wanted to take you for your birthday and you didn't want to go. Hmm? You didn't say we'd be going with Walt Disney. <laughs> well, that's because we weren't. And we're not. No, Molly. No. Molly, what are you doing? I don't know who exactly to call to get in contact with someone who might care about this, but let's try 407W Disney. That's the number that was on the old ads, right? Let's see if it still works. Molly, put the phone down. Put the... Thank you for calling the Disney Vacation Hotline. Fine. My name is Len. How can I make your day magic? Fine. Yes! No. No. Thank you. We're going tomorrow. What? No, I have school. Okay, tell me one more time why we can't go to the Magic Kingdom. Well, we're gonna go tomorrow. Peter. I, I promised my daughter that we would take her with us. And besides, it's better this way. We can't just go waltzing in there, you know? I mean, we... We gotta take our time, play it safe, plan it out. And, and they're probably expecting us to come in here today. Peter, I'm kind of on the schedule here. She was gonna rat on us. My 16-year-old daughter was gonna use blackmail. I blame the media. You just don't get it at all, do you? Okay. I'm taking you to the next best place. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Come on. It's all fake. What? The rocks, the tank, the whole area. It's all fake. Are you... You're joking, right? You do realize that... I don't know, that you're the one who built Disneyland? You remember that? Jungle Cruise, fake animals, replica of the Matterhorn, fake castle. This is all real. It's a real fish swimming in real water. Not fake piranhas jumping out on cue. You built a fake little town for crying out loud. You just don't get it, Peter. Back when I built Disneyland, Main Street was the most real thing in LA. Sure, it's a memory, but it's a real memory of real ideas and the people who built this country. I grew up there, Main Street. That made it real. 
So now anyone who wants to go to Disney World has to walk through your little town to get there. I wish they could do more than that. I wish they could grow up on a Missouri farm, struggle to start a business, then chuck it all and head west with nothing but $40 and a can of film. Wrestle with the money men to build a dream. That's real too. Do you know the difference between my brother Roy and me and all those other fellas? We had the only studio that didn't make smut, that believed in what we were selling. All those other Hollywood big shots, they like to call us that cornfield in Burbank. No, everything else is fake. Disneyland, Disney World, that's real. You made lemmings jump off a cliff. Well, wait, they do that, don't they? No. Okay, okay, okay. The gift wrapping was a good idea, but I think we need to make some modifications. Yeah, like breathing and seeing. And do I have to mention breathing again? Well, besides that, something, something inconspicuous. Will this work? That's perfect. We need something else. It needs to be camouflaged. Camouflaged? What is the most common object in Walt Disney World? Mouse ears. Not quite. This is incredibly demeaning. Well, sir, I do remember you saying that you wanted to see the park through the eyes of a child. This isn't what I meant, and you know it. We drive in and park in the main lot, just like the tourists. Wait, I'm driving, right? Um, no. You don't even have a license. Um, yeah, I do. Mom took me to the DMV after school today. I'm street legal, baby. Don't ever say that again. Understood. Oh, Peter, let her drive! Fine. Fine. Molly can drive. Carefully park the car. Hey, motor mania is not a crime. Molly. I mean, it's fun to be free. Now, Molly and I can get into the park for free, but I'm pretty sure that they'll be tracking my ID. That sounds like my company. Wow, look at those prices. I mean, I knew, but when you see it on a sign. In 66, a guest spent 650 for a day at Disneyland. Now, that wouldn't buy you a churl. Well, go ahead. Oh, let me guess. You forgot your wallet. It's in my other pair of pants. I really think we should talk to the union about this. Union? We took a vote. Well, all the head carriers decided to join the cranium bearers, Local 23. It's really not funny. From there, we head to the dock. No, Dad, the resort loops faster. I want to ride the monorail through the contemporary. We are not riding the monorail. We're trying to blend in. Peter. Peter! You okay? You only bought two passes. Yeah, one for me and one for Molly. I'm not paying for you, I'm sneaking you in. I have very mixed feelings about this. Busiest time at the gate is the half hour after opening. You're both forgetting something. What? The bag check? Well, if it's busy and the bag is tucked in the stroller, they may not see it. But if they do, I've got another trick. Diapers. I have never seen a security guard take a second glance at a bag that had diapers on top of it. Huh? Huh? So we're home free? No, the ticket booth. Biometrics. They take your fingerprint. So? I'm on file. You know. Ow, ow, ow. Hold still, ow. son. You want to need stitches or not? Ow. I was in a med unit in NAM, you know. Really? I was reassigned. Dad! 
Mickey, can you bring me some needle and thread? What color thread? And what color stitches you want, sir? Dad, you are not going to use thread to stitch my finger. You're probably right. Vicky, can you bring me my tackle box? Come on, Dad, really? What? It stings. Well, what about you? And they have your prints, too. I think I'll just put on a Band-Aid. It probably won't check. Sorry. So, what's next? It's blue. What is it? The hat show. It's painted baby blue. <laughs> so it is. I like it. So are we going in or are we just going to stand here? your mom. Peter, is that you? Can you hear me? It, it's kind of noisy. Where are you? I'm at the Magic Kingdom. Carolyn, hold on a second. You're at the Magic Kingdom? Uh, on your day off? Is Molly with you? Yeah, she's right here. Hi, Mom. Dad. You drug her to the Magic Kingdom? Really, Peter? No, I didn't drag her. She wanted to come. You wanted to come, right? Mom, it's fine. I did. Dad, the fast passes. We've got to go. Well, this is the problem with my magic plus. you got to plan out your whole trip. Who gets fast passes for an omnibus? Well, the other rides had a height requirement. Peter, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Is there someone else with you? Uh, yeah, it's a friend of mine. He's never seen the park, and he wanted to come see it. <sighs> Do I know this friend? No, he's a friend from work. So, a friend that works with you at Disney World has never been to the Magic Kingdom. So, you have to take him with your daughter on your day off. Yeah, we'll go with that. Peter, Haunted Mansion, Fast Pass. Uh, hold on. Uh, you go. Is that all right, Walt? That's fine. Okay. Okay, uh, grab us some Mickey bars. Meet me at the restroom at Tangle. Okay. Watch it, Peter. Well, you're carrying the leader of the world's largest media conglomerate, so... You know, be careful. I know, Dad. Mom, you do know I am Okay. Sorry, you were saying?
Mr. Disney? Molly? How do you like seeing all your old haunts? Well, that's really bad. That isn't even funny. <laughs> really? I thought of it back in Pirates, but decided to save it. Uh, that's a joke you should have kept buried. So, this is weird, right? What? Sitting here with Walt Disney's head. This is new. Oh, they put it in a few years ago. Didn't they tell you? Oh, I, I get three days a year. I don't get to approve everything. Not like I used to. What do you do? What do you mean? They thaw you out, and then what do you do for three days? Well, uh, I'm like a little bee. I fly from flower to flower. Push a button, summon me up every year, and I do my little show. Prove this, change that. Then at the end, they push the button, and I go back under. That's what I do. Well, look, if she wants to see the world, I'll, I'll get her job at Epcot. That's really not fair, Peter. She's not a little girl anymore. I know. I'm not sure you do. You know, these last few months, you only see her when you get to go on some fun daddy-daughter date. You know, and she gets to be a kid. You know, I see her when she's doing her homework and dealing with her friends, and... I know it's hard, but she's growing up. And you're okay with that? Honey, listen to yourself. She's actually becoming an adult. But she's not one yet. Okay, I mean, she's... She's just a kid. You can't expect her to make smart choices when she's by herself like that. She's not, she's not ready to leave mom and dad and just go off and... Okay, I can't make this decision right now. No, oh, I understand, but let me know soon because the permission slip is due in like a week. Okay. I love you. I'm sorry. Forced to have it. I love you too, Peter. Molly. Here. You can count it if you want. I know I'm just a kid. Molly, that's not what I meant. I know what you meant. Wait a minute. Can I say something? Yes? We should probably go get a seat for wishes now. Just go on without me. I'll catch up with you guys later. Ma- day. Feel like another citrus swirl? Come on, Peter. There's only room for one SOB in this company, and that's me. Peter, you know, you can't hold on to things forever. People grow up, they change, and they're not yours anymore. You don't want your child to stop growing up, do you? Don't want her to stagnate. So my daughter doesn't need me anymore. She needs you, but she, she needs you to be something different. When 
Carolyn was pregnant. I never wanted kids, you know. Carolyn. I was happy just the two of us. Then Molly was born. Then something happened to me. I changed. Uh, the, the, the nurse, she comes in sometime later and, and she wants to measure her or weigh her. And I just, I can't. I couldn't. You couldn't give her up. Didn't want anyone else to have her. Not even for a second. What's that? 72 hours. What? Well, that means they won't be able to refreeze you. Peter. No, well, we've got to get you back to the lab, like, like right now. Peter, it's worth it. I really like fireworks. No. What? I won't let you. Peter, it's OK. Peter, stop it. Peter, it's OK. Peter, put me down. Dad, what's going on? on? We don't have much time. Listen, just stop. Dad, just come back here. Just think about this. Wait. Listen, just Dad. stop for a minute and we Dad, can wait talk. a sec. This looks like Mari place. something. Peter. The elevator's Peter, here please. somewhere, I swear. What are we doing? Peter, hold up. No. Your time's run out, Walt. You gotta refreeze you or you're gonna die. This is what I want. What do you mean? That's not... You, you, you have a responsibility, and Dad. then... Well, it's an adult. He's... You have to trust people to make their own decisions sometimes. Go to the car. What? You've got your license now, right? You're an adult? Go home. We'll be fine. We're gonna take a cab. That's not what I... Well, I don't have time to sit here and argue with you about whether or not we're I don't gonna... mean that... Damn it, Molly! Go home. Fine. don't want you to risk getting caught again. Just drop me off at Epcot in the morning. Anyway, I've heard great things about this imagination ride. Walt, I've got some bad news. Dad, I think you... Oh, Peter, it, it's all right. No one's getting in any trouble today. Um, have a seat. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carter, I would like to speak to Walt and your son for a moment, if you don't mind. Not at all. Do you think this is about Avatar Land? Why would the CEO of Disney Corporation want to talk to Peter about Avatar Land? I don't know. Peter? Now first, Walt, I'm sorry. I know you wanted to see your park and, well, we should have found a way. You're right. Um, what about me? Walt Disney asked you for a personal favor. What were you going to say? Hell, I'd have done the same thing in your shoes. Now, Walt, what did you promise him? Your job, I think. <laughs> Peter, 
We're looking for someone to run the Emporium down I'll on Main Street. Well, that settles that. Now, Walt, you know the 72-hour time limit. Well, Ben the technician is here. He's brought the equipment. And he said that 72 hours was a minimum time frame. And that if we still have time to get you... I'm not doing it. Excuse me? I'm not coming back. You don't need me anymore. But it's called Walt Disney World. Of course we need Walt Disney. The truth is, I'm not Walt Disney. Not anymore. I haven't been for years. I've been playing the role so long, everybody forgot. Walt Disney is a, uh, is a thing. Walt Disney didn't smoke. I smoked. Walt Disney didn't drink. I drank. Walt Disney didn't swear. Damn it. He was everybody's favorite uncle. And you've got one of those. He's cast in brass in the middle of Main Street. Oh, I'm retiring. Let the statue manage things for a while. Honestly, I think he has been for some time. Lily always told me I held on to things too long. Maybe I never got over losing that rabbit. But Walt, this is your dream. Yeah. Yes, it was. Walt, you're going to die. So are you. No, I've had more than my share. And who knows? Modern medicine and things. Hell, I've lasted this long. Please, excuse me. Something wrong? Yes, but I think I can fix it. Uh, just a minute, dear. Uh, we were talking to Denise. She said you were looking for one of these. Thank you. All right, well, if that's your final decision. We better work out some details. Yeah. Oh, Walt, if you should change your mind. I don't think I will be. Goodbye, Bob. Oh. Mr. Disney, yeah, Vicky and I want you to know that if you want to stay, we have a spare room. So you won't have to share a room with Peter. We insist, Mr. Disney. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes to get on your feet. Oh, well, that's very nice, but not necessary. I have several great-grandchildren in California. I think I'll hit them up. Oh, well, at least for tonight, let, let me put you in the hobby room. Oh, I'll have to... Move the models out of the way. Models? I don't know what you did, but she's pissed. Kevin, would you give her this, please?
up. Someone's up early. Yeah. I think I might be moving back in with Caroline. It's in the guest bedroom, but that's progress, right? Baby steps. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your agenda for today, now that you're not everybody's favorite uncle? I think I'd like to see Stone Mountain. Really? Not Epcot? It's not going anywhere. Well, neither's the mountain. You know, Peter, uh, back in my day, the big Hollywood moguls, except me, they all had chauffeurs. But I think I might finally like to give that a try. Are you offering me a job? Uh, Unless your highest ambition is to run the Emporium. No, sir. Hey, everybody. I'm writer-director Benjamin Lancaster. Yes, that's my name right there. Thank you all so much for watching the movie. I want to thank our Kickstarter backers. You'll see their names in a minute. If you did not get a chance to support our Kickstarter and you wanted to support us for future projects, there is a tip jar right in the description below. We're glad to give this movie away for free, but if you did want to give back and you had an extra three or five bucks burning a hole in your pocket, we'd really appreciate it. So thank you again so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed the film. On behalf of the Board of Directors, we are so pleased that you are joining the Disney Company and are honored to have you as our new President Emeritus. Oh, and one more thing. Welcome to Disney.